get out of this one. And we're gonna come back strong. Believe that. Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Khan's Vlogs. I'm back with another video today. It's been a fat minute. I think it's been over six months actually since I last uploaded a video to my SS. Why did I disappear for six months? Because I deleted all my social media accounts. I, I had hundreds of messages when I got back on Instagram. I'm sorry I did not reply to them all. I deleted them there for a while. It was bad. Um, I straight up kind of fell into a, like a, just a funk. Well, there was a few things, but mostly because of this guy. So we're gonna get into that today. So before we get started, I do wanna say if you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button right now. Um, now that we got the car back, I'm gonna be keeping you guys updated on what's going on with it. And we still have the Blackwing. Nothing's changed on that. Uh, it's exactly what it was when we left off. Other than that, I do wanna give a huge shout out again to the great Premier Performance. Guys are so awesome down there. They are always, and I mean always, taking care of the SS. Um, they're really great at working. The car's running really good right now. It's running really strong right now. And I made the biggest change I've ever made to a car, any car I've owned, ever. I mean, I think the last video I made, Boost District Blower Review, the 2650, thing was wicked, it was awesome. Car was making about 800 wheel um, at the time of the last video, and I was enjoying it so much. We got the new Afcool heat exchanger, obviously the new 2650. Um, car was running great. All right, I took it out to a half mile event. I took it on multiple rallies. Um, and then we took it on one real estate cruise. Um, actually two real estate cruises, but the, the, the last one, the car actually broke and destroyed the entire engine. Now, I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of exactly what happened to the engine. Um, and then I'm gonna tell you how it happened. Um, so here it is, here's the pictures right here. So, not good, really, really bad. The whole engine was toast. An exhaust valve actually decided to break. The springs didn't fail, the retainers didn't fail. Nothing actually like failed and dropped the valve. The valve actually broke in half and one half of it decided to go all throughout the engine and legitimately wreak havoc as you guys saw. You guys know it was a, it was a late model engine, uh, 377 LSA. It's had like 35,000 miles on it. I mean, 35,000 miles, you guys know how I drive. Most cars don't get beat up the way that my cars do. Um, so something gave, it just happened to be that. Really unfortunate, um, kind of rare, I feel like. I haven't really talked to very many people that's happened to ever. So um, down at Premier, they are like, hey, we can rebuild your engine. Whatever you wanna do, depends on what you wanna do with the car. Uh, you guys know, this car's been nothing but a headache for me for the vast majority of the last two years now. Um, if you've been following me at all, you know it's been a headache. I'm, I'm, I'm done with the car. It's, it's, I'm, I'm over it. Um, I'm gonna sell it. Um, and so I told them, hey, let's, uh, let's pretty much go with one of the cheapest options, but I wanna make sure that it's still gonna be good, reliable, and strong. Um, obviously, I don't want to sell anybody a, a, you know, time bomb or anything. So, they took off the blower, which was also full of metal shavings, by the way, uh, from the valve. They took off the blower, they took out my meth kit, they took out my aux pump, they took out my ice tank, they took off my intercooler, took off my throttle body, they took off my new intake, all of it gone. We put a 6.2 out of a 2013 Camaro SS in the car. K and N air filter, and we put my cam and springs in it because the springs were legitimately brand new. Um, so I'm gonna pop the hood now and show you guys. But yeah, it, it's it's about as stock as this car has been since about 8,000 miles. When my dad bought it new, he put about 8,000 miles on it, and then he put the LSA blower on it. And back then, it was making like 560 or 570 wheel horsepower. I can't remember. I've dumped a lot, and I mean a lot of my money. It might not be a lot of money to, to other people, but it was legitimately like everything that I had was into this car. So when it blew up, I went into a funk, man. I mean, like I said, I deleted everything. Um, I, I actually signed out of the YouTube channel. So if you left a comment in between now and then, I didn't see it. 
Um, so I apologize for any messages I missed or anything like that. I'm not going through and responding to them all. If you want to hit me up, do it now. I'm back online. We're getting back into it. So you guys remember the last time I showed you this, we had the Boost District blower, that big old five inch intake down behind um, this bumper over here. Lots of stuff in the engine bay is what we had. Um, it's all gone now. Uh, so this is quite weird to me. K&N air filter, uh, obviously that is a stock um, throttle body. And that right there, 2013 Camaro SS with um, obviously valve train upgrades for the cam. Um, it still has my Holly valve covers on it, so it is really clean looking. Like I said, Premier did a really, really good job at this. I mean, this thing looks really clean and I, I, I really like it. And honestly, it still runs really strong too. Um, I'm trying to get what I can out of it, quite honestly, because I still do owe on the car. And then I am kind of put myself in a bigger hole to get it running again. So I'm selling what I can out of there if you guys want to buy anything. Let me know. Um, the car is also for sale. Um, I, it sucks for me to sell it right now because I've, uh, you guys know I had it posted earlier last year anyways. Um, and I was like, hey, let's just make this faster because I wanted something faster. So I was like, screw it. We'll just put the blower on and make this faster. That was the goal. And it worked for about 2000 miles. Um, so it's for sale now. It's basically stock. Um, I'll show you guys the inside real quick. They removed the end gauge, the air fuel ratio gauge, everything. I mean, a stock SS inside. And honestly, it drives like a stock SS now too. It's just a little bit louder and it, it still makes more power, um, which we'll get into next. Um, I used to have the ice tank right there. Um, and then I used to have the meth tank under here. I'm not gonna lift it, but you get the idea. It's, it's sitting on the ground right behind that box. Um, it almost sounds the exact same until I get on it, it just doesn't sound as angry. Uh, that's actually the exact same cam that I had in it beforehand. Um, so it is a boost cam. So obviously I wasn't expecting it to make much power, right? I mean, coming from 800 wheel especially, I was like, yeah, it, it'll probably make like 430, whatever. It actually ended up making um, four, it made 467 horsepower to the wheels. So yeah, so a little bit of a step down from 800, but uh, it's, it's, still, it's still faster than most. Um, it's really fun and more importantly it runs so strong and so good It's actually easier to drive now and I can like I can I can get on it and I'm not terrified That number will continue to go up because I'm gonna keep driving it to car meets and stuff like that um, It's for sale right now um, Hit me up if you guys are interested. Oh, it would not be one of my videos without a just work car pop Deadlifts and gummy bears today a little pre-workout you guys know what it reminds me of? If you've been watching the channel for a long time, if you're an OG, we used to have a black Pontiac GA GT that was canned. They made like 450 horsepower or something like that to the wheels. It still does have the converter on it as well. I, I think it's a 2800 stall converter if I remember right. So definitely still a fun, very capable car. But dude, it, it, this thing drives like stock. Like I literally can just drive it normal. The suspension has about 20,000 miles on it. Brand new mag ride struts. Um, I redid the brakes in the car, like just barely before this happened. The brakes have less than 1,500 miles on them. The blower has like less than 2,000 miles. That's, that got shipped off. You know what they say, when in Mexico. about all I got for you guys today though um, if you want to see some 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 hooning it won't be in this car anymore we're gonna keep it nice we're gonna keep it running good I'm gonna take it out to meets and stuff so if I see you if you see the car come out say hi like this video sub to the channel 
go follow me on Instagram. It's cons underscore cars. I'll be back on there a little bit more active. Um, and that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Hey, real quick, right before I go, like I just wanted to say, um, I want to thank you guys for like all the good times we had on the channel. Um, I recorded a lot of fun, a lot of fun stuff. Me and my friends, I met a lot of cool people uh, with the car. Um, I'm not done with the channel. I'm just done with the car. And it, man, if you, if you guys know me, like this thing, like this car is to me, it's not just like a hobby. You know what I mean? Like this is like, this is to me, the whole car scene, building the cars, the, the, the cars that I like, like it, it really is. It's like my, it's my thing. You know what I mean? Like I know a lot of people, um, are the same way too, but it really is like you put so much time and effort into one thing and when it goes south and it's out of anyone's control, like it sucks, man. It sucks. And as much as I didn't want to really give up on the car, I kind of was left with no choice because financially it broke me. Um, and so it was, it was, it's really a shot to me. Um, I, I really don't want to let the car go, but um, I do want to say thank you to all the friends I've had. Um, that have helped me out through this. You guys know who you are. Um, we've had some really good times together um, with the car. I've met a lot of great people, a lot of cool events. Um, and that's what it's about is just having good times, enjoying yourself. So um, as sad as I am and um, as sucks, it, as sucky as it is that the car has like less horsepower or whatever now, like at least like we meet you know good people through the car scene and stuff like that so i know a lot of people online like to make it seem like it's it's all about the horsepower it's all about the money or, or whatever um and that's all fun and games i mean i've fallen victim to that a few times more than a few but at the end of the day like it's the experiences and the people so you guys remember that um don't do what i did and get yourself financially so deep into a, a car that you can't get out of it that's my advice. Um, learn from my mistakes. Um, but we're going to get out of this one. And we're going to come back strong. Believe that. I don't know in what or when, but we're coming.